Question, what will you do if you are stuck in an elevator with your ex? Let's say it together. Say We were all thinking it. We are all bad boys and girls here, are we, are we not? Help! 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 Yes, they made a movie about it and I went to see it a week ago, two weeks ago. So the movie is called Stuck and I really wanted to see it when I saw the trailer because the entire movie happens in an elevator. Uh, not the entire movie, but the main story happens in the elevator with these two exes. Help! But the main reason I had to see this movie is because it was made by my guy Sketch. And some of you know Sketch because he has a YouTube couple channel with my crush and future wife Portia. Maybe we can hold this moment so I leave myself wide open. Portia, I know you're watching this right now. Maybe you're watching it alone because you don't want your husband to see the look on her face when I'm saying these kind of things. I understand. But I want you to leave two things right now. Number one, a heart emoji in the comments. Number two, your husband. You're looking nice. Thank you. Wow. And I'm sure I if you are not familiar with Porsche and Sketch, I made two videos about them. You can check it out. Your hands will be on the ground. I'm bandy. And I call. And I you have fun, I promise. And check out their channel. Now, Porsche and Sketch didn't make the movie. It was Sketch and Hilda, who is also an actress in the film. The movie premiered at the Snap Cinemas. I was there. The premiere was sick. The ladies at this thing. I was there with my guy, William, and he was like, yo, does everybody here have big boobs? <laughs> my goodness, it was great. We saw one girl and, and, and the first thing I said to William was, Wallahi, this is a BBL. I cannot believe this is a real person. This must be a BBL. Oh my God, I wish you could have seen what I saw that day. But let's talk about the movie. So the movie follows Angela and Maxwell who are stuck in a falling elevator. Keep that in mind. Falling elevator. Hey! Now I don't have the movie. The movie has not been released digitally. So I'm only going, I'm, I'm going to try and use the trailer. Some of the scenes in the trailer to tell the story. And then for some of it, you have to just take my word for it. I mean, I, there's no reason why I would lie about what is in the movie. The things I liked about the movie. The cinematography was good, of course. Sketch is a seasoned director, so the camera work is always going to be top-notch. And Sketch directs a lot of music videos, so there's some parts where you could see the music video thing coming out a little bit. There's some scene where this girl was walking to a car, and we can already see her walking to the car, but then we see a camera coming from behind a bush. I was like, why? She's already going to the car. Why are we seeing this shot from behind the bush? Also, the locations they were able to get with the no budgets that they used to shoot the film. Impressive. And the fact that a lot of the movie happens in the elevator. And I don't, I don't know if I can say this. I don't know. I'll have to ask Ketch if I can say this. But they didn't shoot the movie in an actual elevator. They built the elevator themselves. I know you shot a movie here, but what are you supposed to do after? Why are you to clean him? This thing. It's dry. All these things are dry. How are you going to clean it? How are you going to clean them? I knew that, but I was thinking people would know it when at the cinemas, but people didn't realize it. They thought it was a real elevator, which means they did their job. The acting was cool all around, but you could tell there was a big gap between the main characters, like the two exes, and everybody else. And this guy, this guy, I swear down, on the night where they premiered the movie, he probably chopped like five girls that night alone. I won't be shocked if, he's, if, if he has a girlfriend right now. I won't be shocked if the girl came from that day. Oh, the girls were feeling that guy jesus there were two people who had me laughing the whole time once again i really wish i could show you but that this guy he didn't have any lines and so the whole time he was eating but he felt like he had to act so he was doing like i'm not even joking right? that looks crazy but that's what he was doing that was my favorite part of the movie we were just laughing our asses over the back and then this guy over here he's supposed to be like the person who is watching the security cameras because they're stuck in the elevator he had a line where he was supposed to say an elevator just dropped and i'm not even joking this is how he said it oh an elevator just dropped once again i really wish i could show it to you you might think that i'm trying to make it more dead than it was for the video but i'm not i'm not even doing it well <laughs> hey shout out to that guy okay we have to do a movie together i like your style <laughs> now to some things i didn't like a hey, sketch yeah my guy but I'm, I have to do my thing. I'm sorry, bro. So remember I said before, the elevator in this movie is falling down. So while watching the movie, I was thinking, do these people have superpowers? That's my theory about the film. Luckily, a lot of it is in the trailer, so I can show you. Very first thing, Jeffrey Notte gets shot over here. Uh, not Jeffrey Notte, his character. <laughs> Looking at the angle, he got shot in the head. But there's no blood, and the head is intact. That's some superhero sh**. Secondly, Angela, the female lead, is a child at that, at that point. She's in the car with her mom. They kill both the parents and then they leave her in the car. And left me in the car trunk for two days. They left her in the car trunk for two days. Also, did the child bleach? 
You should grab a bleach because in in this scene over here. <laughs> Angela gets scared because she gets a gunshot and it reminded her of the time her parents got killed and so she's afraid. Now for normal people, if we hear a gunshot, our first instinct is to go away from the gunshot. You lock the door, turn off the lights, go inside your room and try to get as far away from the gunshot as possible. But in this scene in the movie, her boyfriend goes outside to check what is happening. He told her, calm down, calm down, I'm going outside to check what is happening and see if everything is safe. And I was watching that scene like, hey. Superman, <laughs> hey, you are going outside, I see. And then on top of all of it, remember, they are in a falling elevator. Now they don't get saved in the elevator, the elevator hits the floor and they survive. Superheroes, I'm telling you. energy in the cinema was great people were laughing shouting saying funny stuff it was really nice at some point the guy sitting next to us said yo this is a masterpiece but his girlfriend was asleep so i guess she doesn't agree you can't please everybody i still will ask you to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell i will ask you to check out hilda's channel she has some short films on there at the, at the, at the, the premiere i was getting a little bit angry because before they were showing the movie they show like two or three short films i'm like i'm not here to see this film show me the film but I guess they were waiting for more people to come because Ghanaians are always late. I really hope they drop the movie somewhere. I don't know what they are planning to do. Almost everybody who went to see the movie on that day said they loved it. I love the movie too, but you guys know me. I don't see things like everybody sometimes. But I still don't love it as much as I love you guys. And I'll see you guys soon in another video. Thank you so much. People are gonna never ever ask you to like and subscribe But you go fish share my video